All right, Marth serve. One serve for this video, and I'll just put it in the timestamp. Uh, I'll leave a comment with the timestamp of when I actually get to the serve, uh, because I actually want to talk through how I came up with the serve since it took forever. <laughs> I did not think Marth had a, you know, quote unquote good serve where you know it ends with a really good mix up that sends it in opposite directions of the court, like a spike and something deep. But I found one eventually. And I figured it'd be like just a good uh, learning uh, a lesson for people that just don't have a good serve for their character and, and you know they're they can't find one or you know they just it's just too hard to come up with one. So I came up with this one for Marth and this is how I pretty much came up with it. Basically you want you know all your criteria for a serve right something that you can hit consistently not something where it's like oh I hit this magical hitbox of F smash and that's a great serve, right? I'm not gonna hit that a hundred times in a row, for example, or it doesn't have a mix up, right? Or it's too weak, right? So some things right off the bat, I knew I wanted to get some high percent on the ball and I wanted it to end with a dare or a near because those would send it right here or at the back, right? Or I guess a back here, but the idea if I'm hitting a dare, I would want my other move to be in the same position, so a near, right? I can hit near and dear in the same spot. I can hit forward air also and up air, but as I learned after a lot of practicing, uh, up air is only going to send this straight up unless you hit a different spot, but then it's just too weak and that's not really practical as a serve, just like lobbing it over weakly like that. So I knew I knew all my moves. I knew, I knew that uh, I couldn't F smash it just wasn't going to be consistent enough with uh, tippers and all that. And tippers were pretty good. But after practicing with Nair for a while, I figured, okay, yeah, this is okay. This is good. But I can't really get the ball to a spot where I want it. Where I can do my moves. So fast forward however much longer. I've practiced a bunch of different moves stuff like this uh what else did i try i tried i tried stand in front of the white line f smash and then realized that was consistent also and finally i came back to f smash and i found that and that puts the ball where i can double jump dare i can't do it now because i paused and i waited a little longer but if I, I'll, I'll, I'll redo it. You can hit deer here and it'll spike, or you can hit a near here and I'll jump to the back. So, oh. perfect serve, I thought. I found it, I thought. Well, if I, you can hit that near and that up here. But still not that great. And if you can tell, this actually is too close to the net. And I actually tested this and Fox, Fox or whatever character, if they have a move, can hit this while it's on your side. It's actually close enough that they can hit this. So after however long and I finally found this and I found the mix up where I can dare and near and it was perfect, couldn't, couldn't do it because they can just interrupt you. So. After trying some more, I finally found the real serve, and this is where I'll put the timestamp, <laughs> which is all, which is just simply F tilt, and that puts it a little farther back where you could up tilt, and you could dare. Hold on, perfectly, and you can near. Whether you hit both hits or the second hit, it's just easier to hit the second hit. And later on, I realized, obviously, wait a second, I, I'm only hitting it twice, I can hit it three times. Just to do a little bit more damage. Still looks kind of weak though, compared to like Foxes, for example, Foxes serves, but it's a consistent serve. And it's a good mix up. That one is harder to hit because you have to hit the second hit of this up air as late as you can so that the ball isn't falling down too fast. There we go. 
Oh, and then I just missed it. Let me try it one more time. There we go. So, really good. And even further, another mix-up that I found even after. A third option. I didn't even think he, I didn't even think I would find an option where I could end the serve with a, a dare and a deep option, and that now I found three. So super good, I think. You can even do it on the second one, right? That comes out pretty quick, and it's not right near the net where they can just face the net and jab. It'll it'll land behind them. So that's the serve. Let me know what you guys think. It's really easy to get, uh, really easy to hit. As I, as I mess it up. <laughs> But you don't want... Oh, I totally forgot the icing on the cake. I realized that Nier was actually not the best. I guess it's not the icing on the cake. I realized this a little earlier. But it, it, a better option to send it deep was up B. And you can obviously do that after the first one also. And what's amazing about the serve is that all these options happen about the same spot. Again, with the dare, that's the tightest window to hit. You have to hit it at the peak of your jump, right? Mark does not jump very high. <laughs> this is the peak of your jumping. <laughs> so the dare is the hardest mix up the hit of these. Um, but they all happen, or they can at least, if you want them to, uh, depending on how you hit your up ears, happen at the peak of your jump, or just about. And yeah, that's the serve. I think it's really good. I think it's the best Marth serve I've seen. And I think, you know, let me know what you guys think about the surf and how great it is, how hard it might be to pull off. I think it's super easy to hit. Comes out super fast. All right, so I'm going to wrap up this video. The next one I'll do is, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll just uh, make it a mystery again. And I'll try to come up with exactly one serve, if not more, but I'll try to just do one. And I'll, I'll probably get through the whole roster at some point. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.